We've recently had a baby and we were told that we had to keep the room temperature between 16 and 20 degrees C. But how do you know what the temperature is at night? Wouldn't it be great if you had a night light that changed colour depending on the temperature of the room? That's what we're going to make today. All you need is an infrared light bulb, a PUCJS, and an infrared receiver if your infrared light bulb isn't the same as the one I have. OK, so first things first, we're going to use um, this video and example here for recording and playing back infrared signals. Um, so I've got the setup here with the puck and a infrared receiver just jammed into pins D1, D2 and 3 volts. Um, and obviously this code here. So with that uploaded, if um, I press a button here, like to turn it on, um, you'll see that the actual infrared codes for that are displayed there. And so that's on, then you can turn it off, and the one will be displayed for that. So what we're interested in are the infrared codes to um, to display a value that it's going to be when um, when we want it as a normal night light, which is probably that one. Um, so let's just copy that code there, and we'll put this all into an array. So we'll say var light, and then we do um, normal, we'll make that, and we'll say if it's too hot we want to make it bright red, which is that one. Pull that out. And if it's too cold we'll make it like a really violent blue. And we'll take that. Um, so we, we could do all kinds of different levels, but for this video I'm just going to go for three kind of hot, cold, okay. So now we've got that, we don't need any of this anymore. Um, we don't even need the infrared receiver, so you can just pull that out. Um, and now we can um, replay these. So if I upload this code, and if I say puck.ir light.normal, it will turn the light to the um, to the correct colour. So that's all nice and easy. We can we can easily change between those. The next step is to read the current temperature. Now, as it comes, the puck isn't entirely accurate with temperature. It's very good at detecting differences in temperature, but not the absolute temperature because unfortunately every puck is different. So what you need to do is you need to leave everything to um, to just stay at the same temperature, and then you need to use a temperature source that you trust. So in this case, I'm going to use a laser temperature meter, which is reporting 20.2 degrees. Um, and we know that that's reporting 17.75. So it means the offset is um, 20.2 minus 17.75. And actually, we'll just copy that in here. Um, so, it means that the current temperature now, if we go back here uh, and we just add the offset to it, will be what we consider to be the right temperature. So, now, um, every, let's say we'll do this every 10 seconds, maybe every 30 seconds, because there's no need to do it too quickly. So, 30 times 1,000, because we're doing it in milliseconds here, uh, we get the temp which is um, the temperature plus of offset. And we say if temperature is less than 16, then uh, we will send puck.ir uh, light.cold. Else, if the temperature is less than 20, so less than or equal to 20, then it's, it's normal. Else, if, well, in fact, we don't care. If it's not any of those, then it's going to be way too hot. Um, and that's literally all we need. So what I'll do is I'll just make this into a separate function here, just so that we can call it um, uh, kind of on demand, um, so you don't have to wait around for this. So let's upload this. So now, um, assuming, let's just turn it to some other colour, green, say, um, because we know that that won't be sent normally. So if I do temp test, it will check and it will say that it's too hot because actually it thought the temperature was 
Uh, in fact, we'll just, just print that just so we can be sure. Yep, so it's 20.2. So now all we have to do is um, try and cool this down and then call it again and see what happens. Okay, so I've got an air duster here, which I'll use just to try and cool this down a bit, as well as blowing it off screen. Okay, and obviously now it's updated and it's just turned blue. So this is like a nice, easy night light. Not only that, but we can make this light turn off when it gets light, um, because there's a way to check the amount of light um, hitting this puck device. So you can say puck.light even. Um, so this is returning this value. Uh, if it were completely dark out here, it would be returning a much lower value. Uh, but I'm not blocking out the light very well. But you can easily record the infrared commands here to turn the light bulb on and off. And then you can look at the light value on the puck and use them to only turn the light bulb on when it's night. And that's it. You have a easy temperature controlled night light. If you like this, please subscribe and share. There are a lot more electronics projects coming in the future.